because the Enlightenment was something, and still is something, that goes against the agenda of the pseudo-government in operation within the USA. It was not well documented and promoted that the youth of the 1960s led a wave of enlightenment in this country. For instance, it was the collective efforts of the youth of the early 1960s that paved the way to reconditioning society on seeing black as something beyond color, symbolizing beauty and power, making it a proud rather than derogatory statement to be associated with. For many of us in our 20s and 30s, the youth of the 60s are our parents and or direct influences growing up in the 90s and the early 2000s. We can, with a very slight student's perspective, see that the wave of enlightenment that the youth were experiencing and promoting did not prevail over the lies and propaganda being peddled. The evidence of this, the sharp decline in self-awareness, healthy identification, positive mindsets of self within the descendants and generations that followed the 1960s, assassinations of prominent cultural figures, campaigns of highness character defamation, toxic substance exposure, planned poverty, mass incarceration. One would have to be deaf, blind, dumb, or in denial. To say there was not a group who were seemingly direct enemies to a move of enlightenment spreading within a certain demographic. What's good, fam? Do you know that you're a serial creator? Or have you settled for something else? Have you become a survivalist like those who came before you? Have you become a compromiser? Have you become one who has settled for much less than he or she was designed? Do you know who you are? Do you know why you are? And have you begun to reconcile the two and put it together and formulate a plan, execute a strategy that takes you from mediocrity, from poverty, from poor, to well-off, to abundant, to free? to liberate it if you have it and if that's not your goal unsubscribe now cut this video off and don't ever come back but if that's what you want if that's what you're looking for if that's what you've initiated if that's what you'd like to begin like in you are infinitely creative but you've been voluntarily confined did you know that? First of all, did you know that you were infinitely creative? Is that something that you know about yourself? I'm not saying that is that something that you present about yourself? Is that something you say about yourself? Is that something you think or believe about yourself? I'm asking you, do you know that you are infinitely creative? Do you know that endlessly every single moment of your life you are creating, whether you are creating in a way that is beneficial and constructive for you or you are creating in such a way that is nothing but the making of illusions and following these misconceptions into the destructive fields that they lead to. I'm asking you, do you know that you're infinitely creative? Do you know that every word that you speak, every thought that you think unconsciously and consciously, do you know that you move mountains? Do you know that you are never still and calm and doing nothing? Do you understand that there is a part of you that never sleeps, never slumbers, needs no food, no rest, never gets tired, and doesn't listen to Kevin Gates? Do you know? Or have you been voluntarily confined into an expression in the physical that is based solely off of the way you think things are and should be. Are you in and out? Or have you locked in? Have you sat down inside of the realization that you are an extension of Source Creator? Source Creator, God, Supreme, whatever you want to call, I don't care. I don't think that Source cares. I don't think that our Father cares what you call him. I just, I think that's a conversation for those who still remain in the darkness and we should leave that there. 
because we are talking about being serial creators. We are talking about living in the abundance that we were designed for, not because of some stroke of luck, not because of some working my finger down to the bone, not from some scheme or some backdoor strategy that we had to pay to to learn and then take a risk to initiate. Nah, talking about your inheritance, talking about the fact that you were left the life, you were given life for life. The fullness of the experience of life has been extended to you freely. You did nothing to pay for it. You did nothing to earn it. Therefore, being that it's a give, you can do nothing to lose it. Go fish. Sure. You let others tell you what it is that you have to do, and you've submitted miserably to the way of others as images, ideas, and ways of innovation flashed across your palate. You have lived confined by your own paradigms and your own beliefs. But because you believe inside of these paradigms that these paradigms are mandatory, some of these things are just absolutely unavoidable. 